good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you are in the world, and a very happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Um, welcome to our webinar today where we are going to talk about falling in love with your direct hire healthcare employer, and we are going to highlight several healthcare employers that are hiring right now today. Um, also, we would love to hear where you are spending your Valentine's Day and where you're watching from in the chat. We would love to, to hear what country you're in. And also, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat or in the Q&A section, and we will be very happy to answer those at the end. Um, also, we hope by the end of this, you have found a new employer. If you haven't fallen in love with them, at least to think about and to research. So I think one thing that's really important to know is that for all of the employers that we are going to discuss today, um, the requirements to apply an interview for these opportunities are to have already taken and passed the NCLEX, and then to have at least two years of current bedside experience in the specialty that you are interviewing for. I think one thing, one thing to note that um, there in 2023, there were more NCLEX passers internationally than maybe ever before. There was at least 30,000 nurses that took and passed the NCLEX um, outside of the US in 2023. So there are a lot of nurses currently in the competition bucket for interviews for U.S. employers. And so I think um, it's really important to know that when you're looking at an interview, um, the candidates that have the very best experience are, are going to be the ones that get the interview. And so making sure that you, if you're not a bedside today, that you look for a bedside opportunity um, and continue to work on your experience is super, super um, important. Also, I think um, important to know that all of these opportunities, they are all direct hire, which means that each one of these, um, you don't come to work for Worldwide. We help you on behalf of the employer. You are employed directly by the hospital or the facility. Um, these are all for EB3 visas, the green card visa, um, and inter your immediate family members are included on the petition at no extra cost. Um, and there, there are some other costs for family members that the employer doesn't pay. The employer pays the cost for the nurses, um, but the petition is included. Uh, each employer does at least 30 days of temporary housing. Uh, some employers do, you know, do some additional things. It's at the employer's discretion. This also includes free airfare to the U.S. for the applicant and um, reimbursement of visa screen and medical exam. So that's included with everyone. Some employers may have, you know, may have some different benefits in addition. So the first employer that we are going to talk about today is University of Iowa Healthcare. And we're going to start off with the video. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. It's important to get the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. Nothing can compare to that. We offer options and research and clinical care that isn't available anywhere else in Iowa. We really have here world-class healthcare right in your backyard. From a treatment perspective, from a research perspective, anything that I need to better my patients, the university provides. This is why we become a doctor. Together. 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 Together, we're University of Iowa Healthcare. All right. So University of Iowa Healthcare, um, they are a, a hospital that consistently ranks among the top medical facilities in the US. Um, they have various specialties that are ranked and then in, in various places, various different departments where they are listed on the US News and World Report's best hospital rankings. They are also a teaching hospital um, and they, and, you know, as such, they have really great research and continued work on innovation. Um, and so they also require nurses that have really great experience. 
Um, they also have a really neat experienced nurse fellowship program. And this program has many parts, but I think one of the things that is, is also pretty neat about it is some of the instruction that comes through the fellowship program also counts towards your continuing education contact hours as a nurse, which is, you know, which is fantastic because sometimes you, you have to pay for those separately. And then this is also the fourth year that University of Iowa has been magnet recognized. So it's a really, really impressive, impressive hospital system. Um, they also have a, a professional nursing practice model. Um, and we've, we've included their little graphic here. Um, but they, you know, they've got each pillars and I would encourage you to go on their website and you can even read about each of the pillars and what all of this means. Um, they're a, a lovely, a, a lovely group of people, very kind. Um, in addition to that, this opportunity also comes with a $12,500 sign on bonus and a $3,500 relocation bonus. So, um, you know, there's, I think there's some, some financial reasons to, to look at this opportunity as well. Um, the University of Iowa openings are um, in Iowa City. Um, if you have never thought about living in Iowa before, um, it's a really, it's one of the friendliest, kindest places to live. Um, I was talking to somebody who lived in a neighboring state uh, last week, and they, you know, they were saying that people on the East Coast um, are, are kind and they will help you. People on the West Coast are friendly. But people in the middle and places like Iowa are kind and friendly. Um, and if you'd like more information about living in Iowa specifically, I would direct you to another webinar that we have done about living in Iowa. You can find it on our YouTube page at Worldwide Health Staff, and you can follow our YouTube page for all kinds of different places. But I think one, one thing as you're looking at where to live in the U.S. is there's lots of states in the middle that are really fantastic places to live. Um, every state has big cities and small cities and rural areas and um, every place, every state has places that are safer than other places. Um, and even within cities, it's like that. So I would think about looking, you know, looking at each location individually and maybe not looking at states as a whole. So watch our webinar on Iowa, check out Iowa City. Um, currently, the positions that we are hiring for, um, there's several different ICU positions, medical, surgical, neuro, um, and then some respiratory and palliative positions. Um, we're looking for intermediate nurses and neuro, and then there's a perioperative group that we are looking to hire for right now for the University of Iowa. All right. So the next employer that we are going to talk about today is Bayana, and we'll also start with the video. You know, when I was in nursing school, didn't really hear much about home care. The best thing is just to tell people. Home care is nursing in its entirety. The holistic care that you get to provide in home care was what I knew nursing to be. In a hospital, you have five different people that you have to call to manage different things with your patient. In home care, I learn all that stuff. The only things that I heard was that it was not very skill intensive, that your skill sets are going to get rusty. False. I learn new skill sets. I get continuing education through bad all the time. I know how to work the ventilator. I know how to take care of the trach. I know how to crack an oxygen tank. I know how to work an Ambu bag. I can take care of you. Our care is so detailed that it's phenomenal. And that's the kind of stuff that people don't hear when they're in school. They're going, oh, you're going to go and you're going to be what, like a glorified babysitter? No, couldn't be further from the truth. Home care is a collaborative team approach to nursing, which I didn't know until I did it. This is why you became a nurse. You became a nurse to treat the whole system, the patient, the family, the illness, the, the doctors. You touch every aspect. A nurse in home care is like the hub of a wheel, and you're in touch with every spoke of that wheel. 
and, and you have a chance in home care to make an enormous difference with the patient and the family and the other nurses. It's everything all wrapped up into one. Okay, so um, so Bayada is home care, and what we're hiring for is home health in Bayada. And Bayada is a it's a really big company, um, and they are across the U.S. and also in Hawaii. Um, Bayada is this, the home health piece is really about prioritizing one on one patient care. And this patients receive care that they would normally get at a skilled nursing facility or in um, a hospital or acute rehab, but it's happening at home. Um, I think in many parts of the world, home health is really considered something very different than it is here in the U.S. And if you haven't thought about perhaps working in, in home health, this is really an area that you should think about. Um, as a company, they ought to offer flexible schedules. This is for a full-time role, but after you've worked out your 36-month commitment, they have positions that could be part-time or per diem. Um, one of the things is that you can also help to make your own schedule. So if you, if you like flexibility and you are not interested in working a 12-hour hospital shift or you have small children that you want to be able to take to school in the morning, um, this is a really good job to think about. They also have world-class training, which they mentioned in the video. But if you, you know, if you are interested in learning or moving up to a different level, Bayada also offers many different types of care, including hospice. And um, they do some high-level pediatric and adult care, which they, they call ICU in the home. And so there's, there's opportunities to skill up and level up as well. Um, it's also recognized by Newsweek as a, one of the greatest workplaces for women, parents and family, and diversity. And it's also acknowledged by diversity jobs as a top diversity employer. So I think there's a lot of flexibility and also it's a very inclusive environment. One of the other, or maybe maybe two things that I want to mention outside of schedule flexibility is the way that pay is determined for home health. Um, there is a point system, and so every every nurse is guaranteed um, twenty five points. And instead of having hours, your your care is determined by points. And so the the more difficult that the, the task is for you to complete with a patient, the more points that you would earn. For example, um, admission or first visit is would be two and a half points. Um, and a regular evaluation would be one and a half points. So over the, you know, over the span of a week, you have to find, you have to do 25 points. Um, and that, that, equals is equivalent to the salary that you are offered. So it's it, the pay is done a little bit differently, but also it allows some flexibility. So depending on what, you know, what activities you may have to work that week, um, you know, your hours could vary from, you know, let's say 30, 32 hours to maybe 40 hours, just depending on the different patients that you are taking care of. Um, they also do mileage reimbursement. So um, this is a job where you need to have a car and you would go you know, visit your patients, but they will reimburse for all of your, all of your mileage. Um, and I think they also have um, a really great support system for all of the nurses. So even though you're going to a, a client's home, um, all the patients are vetted and verified before anyone gets sent there. There is a whole system and support net network to call if there's any, you know, if anybody needs any help. Um, I think safety is a, is a big priority for Bayada and as a, as a really big company, um, it's important to them that they continue to keep everybody very safe. Um, and then they also have a 90 day onboarding period. So they want to be sure that, um, you know, that, that everybody feels very confident before they send them out alone into a home. 
Right now at Worldwide, we are hiring home health nurses, like I mentioned, and we are hiring them in Pennsylvania and in Hawaii. Um, there are several different cities in Hawaii. Um, and then in Pennsylvania, it's mostly in the Philadelphia area, which is a pretty big city. If you would like to learn more and if you'd like to hear specifically from some folks from Bayada, we have done a webinar um, that you can also find on our YouTube page specifically about Bayada um, with Jericho, who is one of the leaders from the Hawaii area, who has been with Bayada for quite some time and has worked in several different states. And so if, you know, if you would like to learn more, and I, I would say that everyone should because this is a job that I think many people don't know a lot about, um, please feel free to connect and, and watch our webinar with Jared. Okay, moving on. Um, and, and just a reminder, if you have questions, please put them in the chat and we will go through them at the end. So our next employer we're going to talk about is Cassia. And here's our video. Let your light shine before others. I am compassion. I am integrity. I am unity. I am collaboration. I am innovation. I am stewardship. I am respect. I am excellence. I am Cassia. Yo soy Cassia. I am Cassia. We are Cassia. We are Cassia. We come from different faith traditions and cultures. We are known for the spirit of compassion we all share. We see our work as a mission to foster fullness of life for older adults in the spirit of Christ's love. By acting as caregiver, companion, chaplain, housekeeper, and more, we free those we serve as they concentrate on being daughter, son, grandchild, or spouse. We are an extension of their families. We treat them as an extension of ours. The people who come to our communities feel something special. It's because of the values we've each made a part of our lives. We share compassion. We serve and love like Christ by seeking to understand, walking alongside, and uplifting one another. We share integrity. We nurture trusting relationships and make honesty the foundation for all interactions. We share excellence. We distinguish ourselves by anticipating needs and exceeding expectations. We share innovation. We create an environment where we are empowered to foster and celebrate new ideas. We share stewardship. We faithfully care for and utilize our resources. We share unity. We live the mission, vision, and values of Cassia. We share respect. We treat each person with dignity, consideration, and care. We share collaboration. We value partnerships to cultivate and ensure a richer quality of life. This is how each of us becomes the compassionate leader our industry needs and our residents deserve. Caregivers that lead by serving. Each of us at Cassia is a part of a larger purpose. Our work is inspired by the spirit of compassion welcoming all faiths and traditions and operating communities and services that are inclusive for everyone who comes to us for care. In biblical times, our name meant servant's heart. As a part of Cassia, each of us serves our residents with the healing spirit we all share. I am Cassia, every day, every way. All right, so before I talk about Cassia alone, I, I want to talk a little bit just about um, long-term care or skilled nursing facilities. Um, in the U.S. And, and maybe the U.K. and Canada and Germany, you know, a few other countries, um, this is a really important part of what we do. 
um, and, and our health care, really just the, the whole health care system. Long term care skilled nursing facilities care for oftentimes geriatric patients um, or patients that are unable to care for themselves, but also don't have don't have a willing caretaker at home. And so I think sometimes people think about long term care jobs as um, maybe not desirable, but I would maybe ask for you to think about it in a different way. Um, These are patients and people who need really good nurses who are going to be kind and care for them. Um, And and sometimes maybe they don't see family members and the nurses and the nurse aides that they see are the only people that interact with them and give them hope and dignity as either they're, you know, they have extreme illness or perhaps are in the aging process. And so I think that all of our long-term care employers are looking for is they're looking for nurses who are going to be passionate about the patients, which oftentimes is a geriatric population, um, that are going to be kind. And then I think the other thing to think about when you think about skilled nursing facilities is that oftentimes the patient to nurse ratio is high. However, part of what is, is involved in this care model is that there are a great deal of nurse aides that support the nurses. So I think also these employers are looking for nurses who are able to help direct and support nurse aides as part of the care process. So I don't think anyone expects for one nurse to take care of, you know, 10 or 15 patients alone, but they're looking for nurses who are able to to understand and help support nurse aides as they're doing their really important work too. So um, really important, um, as somebody who has had a parent who um, was aging and and needed some additional care, to me, this is a very important um, part of what we do. And we also work with some really fantastic organizations. Um, Cassia is one of them. Again, the video they mentioned, they are mission driven. Um, Cassia is also a group that we have worked with for a very long time. Um, our Cassia, the Cassia person who represents the international program um, is one of my very favorite people that we work with. Um, it is a kind organization. It is a really, it is an organization that cares very much about uh, international nurses and, and their transition to the U.S. Um, they've been hiring international nurses since at least 2018. So they are very familiar with nurses coming in from around the world. Um, and recently traveled to Kenya and, um, you know, enjoyed their trip to Kenya so much that they are looking to do, um, you know, to, to perhaps recruit directly from Kenya. So there's, um, there's lots of really good opportunities with Cassia. Um, you also heard them mention that they are a faith-based organization. Um, and I think one of the things about working at Cassia or any long-term care facility is that you do get to build meaningful relationships with your patients because you will see the same patients over time. Um, and so I think that's a that's a really, really spectacular part of this. Cassia is also, Cassia Life is a big organization. So today we are hiring skilled nursing, um, nurses for our skilled nursing and long-term care facilities. But they also have memory care and rehab centers um, and they have locations all across the U.S. And so, you know, once somebody works out their 36-month contract, there's lots of opportunities for movement um, and upward mobility as well. Um, today, we are hiring for Cassia in Minnesota, which is a pretty diverse state. So if you've never thought about living in Minnesota, it's a, it's a great diverse state. Um, North Dakota, which is beautiful and wild and very close to Canada. Um, Iowa, which we've already talked about today a little bit, and then Colorado, which is a very neat state and has some really beautiful places. Um, So lots of really great locations that we're hiring at for Cassia. All right, then the next group we're going to talk about is National Healthcare Corporation, and here's our video. Well, hi, Courtney. How are you? I'm doing well. Good, good. Well, Courtney, so thrilled about the role you play as one of our regional nursing leaders. Can you tell me a little bit about your career path that got you to where you are today? 
Yes, I started with NHC as a CNA um, and utilized tuition reimbursement um, to obtain my license, practical nursing license, and then also um, utilize that after five years to go back to RN school. Um, and now I'm serving as in nursing leadership for the South Central Region. Um, I love uh, quality patient care. Um, and I love being able to influence the different centers that I um, visit daily um, to provide the best quality care we can for our patients. So my favorite thing about working for NHC is my ability to visit um, the different centers on a daily basis and ensure that we are providing quality patient care. Well, Courtney, thank you for sharing your career path and all the, the wonderful work you've done for all these years in all those different roles. Our patients and fellow partners really do appreciate it. I hope you have a great day and thank you for being a part of the NHC team. Thank you. All right. So National Healthcare Corporation is also a long a long-term care and skilled nursing facility organization. Um, National Healthcare has locations in many different states. Um, this is also Maria, who is our contact at National Healthcare. Um, she herself uh, is from the Philippines. She's from Cebu. Um, she and I traveled to um, to the Philippines together last year and did some interviews in both Manila and Cebu. Um, and she immigrated herself, went through the process as a physical therapist. Um, and so she is she is a, a really great champion. Um, she works really hard to make sure that every single nurse that comes in to, um, to NHC has a great place to stay. She helps people find apartments and, and is just very passionate about international nurses in general. Um, there's, this is a big organization and there's lots and lots of room for upward mobility. Um, we have done a webinar with Maria at NHC. You can also find it on our YouTube page. If you would like to hear about her personal career journey with NHC, um, she has been with NHC for more than 20 years and has held many different positions. So it's also a, a company that has really great room for, for upward mobility. Um, one of the things about NHC is that they are um, it is very important that you're passionate about, um, about their patients. Maria and anybody else who you would meet as you interviewed for NHC is very, very passionate about what they do. Um, and they are looking for nurses that will commit to National Healthcare Corporation and also to their geriatric population. And so I think, you know, that's, that's important to know. Um, they also have some um, some memory care facilities that are looking for and behavioral health facilities that are looking for um, for for nurses. So um, they've got some of those available as well. We are hiring today um, for Tennessee and NHC is, is headquartered in Tennessee and they have many, many, many locations in Tennessee. Um, if you know, if you are looking for um, a great state to live that you may not have thought about, Tennessee is another good one to consider. There is not any income tax in Tennessee. So you do pay, um, you do pay tax, but you don't pay income tax. And um, you also, it's got a pretty good cost of living in most places. Nashville is the big city. And so it's, Nashville is a little bit more expensive, but there are, there are lots of really great towns in Tennessee. Um, also, in the eastern part of the state, there's some really great mountains, and it's it's one of my favorite places. So, I you know I would say look at Tennessee; it's a great place to live. Um, we also have a location in Georgia, in South Carolina, and Missouri. Um, all all really great places, all friendly places to live. Um, cost of living is, is really great in, in all of those states. And so, you know, I would say if you haven't considered those states, they're great ones to look up. All right. Um, a few, a couple of things, and then I see a bunch of questions coming in. Um, so I've mentioned following us on YouTube, but also don't forget to follow us on Facebook. 
for any of the, the updates that we have, new positions that we're posting, um, and then webinars like this. We do webinars for all kinds of things. Um, we also have Carrie, who is live on Carrie's Corner on Thursdays. And then you should also like and follow our exclusive partner in the Philippines, HRPC. HRPC does many, many events throughout the Philippines. So particularly if you're in the Philippines, you should like and follow HRPC because they may be coming to a city near you and you could you could come and meet them. And they do open houses um, in our Manila office as well. Um, also, if you haven't heard about our Refer Nurse Friend program, um, you should refer your friends. We pay $250 for NCLEX passing nurse referrals once their petition is filed. So this is a great, you know, a great place um, to refer your friends so you can come with other folks. And then I think I saw somebody, and uh, Tracy put it in the chat, but if you have not already applied, please go to our website at healthstaff.org and, and apply. We would absolutely love to help you. Um, we also have, if you'd like to chat with a live recruiter right now, we have live chat available that goes to our recruiting team. And we would be absolutely happy to, to chat with you live. Um, and then I am going to do my very best to, um, to answer the questions that, that are coming through the chat. So, um, so a couple of people, I think, asked about uh, experience requirements. All of these jobs and almost all of our USRN jobs require the NCLEX to already be taken and passed before interview. Um, so these all do require the NCLEX and they also require at least two years of current bedside experience. So all of these, all of these positions do require that. Um, so, then, and that's, you know, if you have a work gap, that's okay as long as you've gone back to bedside. Um, and then probably you would need to be at the bedside for at least a year. Um, and I think there's been a couple of questions about caregiver jobs or nurse aid positions. And we, we really don't have any of those positions available at this time. And we haven't really for quite some time. So, um, you know, apologies for that. But we just we don't have any those positions are put on hold. Um, I saw another question about um, are diplomas acceptable? Um, there, it depends on the employer. And so um, for, for many of these employers, a diploma is acceptable. Um, University of Iowa does require a BSN. So that is a requirement for University of Iowa. But for the other employers we've talked about today, a diploma is, um, is acceptable. Um, and Linda, also, I saw your note, and I'll, I'll make sure that one of us, um, that somebody follows up with you, um, and we'll, we'll send you a note after this. Um, and then somebody was mentioning that they're from India, if they could be hired. And um, I, I think the thing about India and China is that right now, USCIS is processing applications from um, it's either 2010 or 2012. And so because of that right now, employers are not willing to sponsor you unless you have a, a previous I-140 priority date that is current because of the amount of time it will take to get to the U.S. So, you know, we have hopes that in coming years that the, the USCIS will speed up their processing times, but that's just currently the state of it. Um, and then I've, I've seen a lot of notes about, um, you know, PICU, NICU vacancies. I saw oncology, um, palliative. We did talk about palliative today. Um, University of Iowa is hiring for that. Um, and we do have some oncology positions open. I think the very best thing would be to connect directly with a recruiter and, and have them look at your experience and be able to tell you, um, you know, if you qualify for the positions that we have available. Um, for NICU, PICU, really all pediatric positions, and I think also those that fall in the surgical services realms, although um, the uh, University of Iowa is, is hiring for perioperative services. Um, those positions are more uncommon, and they generally go to um, candidates that have 
have a great deal of experience. So if you are currently working in, um, you know, in, in pediatrics and children of any kind, um, I think the best advice is to stay in contact with your recruiter and to, to be pretty flexible in terms of, um, of geography because the positions just don't come open very often. Um, so I think, you know, those, the more flexible that you are and the more open-minded about where you may be willing to go in the U.S., the more opportunities that you will have. Um, there's a couple of folks that have asked about other, you know, other specialties. Um, you know, we, we do recruit for, we do re recruit for a lot of, um, med surge that's probably the number one spot that we have open is med surge um general med surge telemetry experience and then you know in a, a realm of different specialties um we also like, sometimes we're able to help paramedics find find positions that that does happen sometimes um but i think again you you would really want to connect directly with a recruiter and then they would be able to look at your experience and, and help you um, and then I think there's a couple of like really specific, you know, I'd like to work for Cape Fear um, or have dialysis experience or I'd like to be in Arizona. And I think I would say um, for all of those things and anything very specific to you and your your individual requirements, please um, chat with a recruiter. Um, there's a question about, do we have dialysis positions? Yes, we are always hiring for dialysis positions. Um, please connect with your recruiter on the, the specifications for each of those positions, and we'd be happy to help you get an interview if you, um, if you are eligible. Um, right now, we do not, so there's a question about if you're a USRN without bed, bedside experience, we do not have any positions today where employers are hiring without bedside experience. We did have some employers during um, really 2021 um, when when there is such a big shortage and the NCLEX centers were closed that did have out specific experience. But today we do not have any positions where employers are willing to take candidates without bedside experience. And I think in almost every case, if you're not working full time at the bedside right now, they would want you to go back and work full time by the bedside during your immigration experience. Bedside experience and the NCLEX are the two very most important things to getting a job in the U.S. today. Um, and, and I think, you know, s several questions about that. But um, it, today all, we don't have any employers that will interview you without bedside experience. Bedside experience is so important. Um, Okay, I think I think that I have answered almost all of the um, all of the questions. Um, there's are there more employers that we would present? Yes. So worldwide, we have many, 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 many employers that we work with, um, and we probably hire for ten or fifteen different employers every week. Um, we have just this is just a few of the employers, and these are employers that we know have open interview slots. Um, so we please continue to ask your um, ask your recruiter about specific information. Um, also, if you have questions about um, specific units or you have questions about um, specific employers, I would one direct you to our YouTube page because we may very well have done a webinar with or about that client um, and you can learn more there. And then I think two, please contact your recruiter because they'll be able to help you with, um, you know, what are we hiring for in each state or each, of each employer? And do you have experience that qualifies for that? All right. Thank you to everybody who spent your Valentine's Day with us. Um, I hope that you have a good evening or a good morning or a good day. Um, and happy Valentine's to you and your family and your loved ones.